62-year-old woman fighting for her life after a vicious attack Saturday as she was leaving work. A man who's no stranger to crime doused her with some sort of flammable fluid and set her on fire. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig with details on who police are looking for and they need your help. This happened Saturday evening around 8 o'clock. Dorothy Spinella was just getting off work. She had just walked out the back door when she was ambushed. I looked to the left and seen her burning up on the ground. Burning on the ground after a vicious attack was 62 year old Dorothy Spinella, a man she knew had doused her with an accelerant and then set her on fire. And Redford police say their prime suspect is 63 year old William Helmer. He's known as Rusty. I-49. If he burned my mom, I want him to burn slow and painfully too. William Helmer was released from prison in 2017. He has convictions on his record that date back to the 1970s and include manslaughter, assault, and prison escape. Dorothy's son said she lived with him for a few weeks last year, and her co-worker said he gave her a ride home a few times, but recently he had been threatening her. Well, she told me that he said that uh, he was going to kill her. He's been threatening her for three weeks. He told me that sh she had problems with him, you know what I'm saying, and he was bothering her. She made a police report. The police was up here a few times to make sure she got in the car with her riding and left out the parking lot safely. Joshua Bolden works here at the Redford Coney Island on Seven Mile at Beach Daily with Dorothy. He said he was cleaning the grill Saturday night around 8 when Dorothy walked out the back door to leave for the day. Ten seconds later, someone was honking for help. I came outside and seen her burning and we grabbed some water and put her out. And I don't see you. I didn't see where the guy came from. Now the search is on for William Rusty Helmer as Dorothy fights for her life. She's 50 50 right now. She can go. She can either pass or she can survive. It, it's totally up to her body right now. She didn't deserve it. She doesn't even look the same. Redford police say if you know anything about the whereabouts of William Helmer, please give them a call in Redford. Kimberly Craig 7 Action News. And of course, we're praying for her and that family tonight. Kim, yes. thank you.